Hey, good evening, YouTube. It's Brew by Me. How y'all doing? Good. Going solo tonight. Guy and Pascal are here. <laughs> Anyhow, I'm um, going to do a couple reviews tonight. Uh, tonight I'm going to be trying the second beer by the Double Trouble Brewing Company. It's their Prison Break. Breakout Pilsner. It's 5% ABV. They're in Guelph, Ontario, Canada, and yes, their first one was a very big success. It was Hops and Robbers, and it had pretty cool artwork, just like this can, um, and fairly similar design, except changed the color a little bit, and the, uh, the, the cartoons on there were a bit different, so um, without further ado, I'm going to crack her open and give her a go. I'm going to use my Ashton Bruin Company glass. They're based out of Ashton, Ontario, Canada, which is just outside of Carleton Place. Go check out their brew pub and uh, have some of their beer. They brew it all on premises. It smells like a Pilsner. So out of the can, it doesn't smell too great. Picking up a little bit of sweet malt there. A slight bit of hops. But like um, a very stank smell. It's, it's golden yellow in color, like hay. Um, nice carbonation, you can see it in the glass right there. See that? Nice finger ahead, small to medium bubbles. There you have it. So let's give her a smell. Well, I already started smelling there, but okay. Smells slightly better in the glass, but still, you got that nice little bit of sweetness. Some hops, like a floral, earthy kind of hop presence there. Slight bit of like a, your fresh cut grass. And that's about it, not too much on the nose, folks. So, without further ado, let's dive into her and give her a go. It's just average, um, you know. It's your average pilsner. Don't get me wrong; it's way better than like uh, blue light pilsner, but um, not close enough to the cream or springs pilsner or the pilsner Yerkel. Um, but uh, you know, it's definitely a, a step up from the uh, regular macro pilsners you pick up. So you take a swig of it, right off the tip of your tongue and get a slight little bit of sweetness. Slide your tongue you get that nice uh, floral earthy bitterness. At the back it dries out fairly dry and it's very clean and crisp and very refreshing. So it's a very sessionable beer, you can sit back and drink these all day. But it's missing a little bit of flavor, a little pizzazz. Um, you know, their hops and robbers was pretty good. This one is average. It's still fairly drinkable. Uh, would I buy it again? No. Um, would, if somebody gave it to me, would I drink it? Sure, I would. Um, um, but other than that, there's not too much to tell you about it. It's fairly, uh, it's just average. It's not blowing me away like the Creamore Springs or the Pilsner York Hill, but you know what? It's fairly refreshing, fairly easy drinking, so uh, no marks on there going away. But, uh, you know, I know where they're trying to go with this beer, and that's fine and dandy, you know? Um, So 
so yeah. If you want to try a Pilsner that's a step up from the macros, go ahead and find it. If you really don't care to try it because you want to try a really good Pilsner, then I would go with Primor Springs Pilsner or Pilsner York Hill. Um, other than that, uh, yeah, there you have it. Uh, malt profile, you got some um, Pilsner malt in there, maybe some Carapils. Hops is uh, Noble Hops. Um, uh, you know, I don't think. Uh, 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 yeah, Noble Hops there, Hollow Towers, Rucker, Ted Nang, Ted Nucker, those type of hops are in there. Um, so, yeah, it's a fairly easy drinking, fairly sessionable beer. Um, you know, it's just. It's it's just meh. It's it's good. It's it's okay, you know. So there you have it. I told you what it looked like. I told you what it smelled like. I told you what it tasted like. I gave you my thoughts about the beer. Now it's up to you. If you want to get it, go get it. If you don't want to get it, then don't get it. Um, so until next time, please rate, comment, subscribe. If you have any ideas, suggestions down there in the box, and uh, we'll get back to you as soon as possible. I want to thank you guys for watching, and until next time, bye.